I recently had the pleasure of going on to a Paper Magic stream hosted by Mr. Badger over on his Twitch, and I thought I'd make something special for the channel about my experience and the game. In clockwise order, starting at the top left, we have Mr. Badger playing your lock. It has a bit of a group hug, group slug theme going on. To the right of him is Dr. Dabs, who's playing Golos with a companion, Gigantha. He came to us ahead of the game and assured us he wasn't running anything too busted. Golos was only going to be grabbing basics, so we let him rule zero that in. Below him is Hexproof Harry. You may know him for his memes on Instagram. He is running a cast deck that does a lot of work with discarding cards. And I am in the bottom left corner with Eureka. We have some top deck manipulation, and we have some fun Voltron-y stuff. This was mainly built from random cards in my collection. We started off mulliganing. They do what they call a brainstorm mulligan where they draw 10 and throw 3 back. I won the high roll so I get to go first. I started off the game with a ley line of anticipation before we even start the game, so all my stuff has flash. And then I played my command tower and passed the turn. Mr. Badger has an even faster turn 1 with land, soul ring, arcane signet. Dr. Dab starts off with the planes, ain't no shame in that, and Hexproof Harry starts off with the black red life land. Back to me, I play Morphic Pool, and despite all my stuff having flash, I play Black Blade Reforged, because I have the memory of a goldfish sometimes. On Mr. Badger's turn, he plays another forest and a Zerta Druid to get more ramp going and some more group slug. Then he follows that up with a Far Seek, nothing like untapping on turn 3 with 7 mana. Dr. Dab's turn 2 is an Island Go, holding blue white up can be kinda scary. Over to Harry, he plays a land and then an Arcane Signet and passes. To me, I play a land and I go to cast my commander, but then I realize everything I cast has flash, so I try to play it smart and wait. To Mr. Badger's turn, he casts a Swamp and Belby, great for giving people too much mana. He then goes on to play Paradise Druid and ramp even harder. And then he plays his commander. After that, he's taking play for Mr. Badger, Dr. Daz plays a mountain. He knows how strong Black Blade or Forge can be, so he hits it with Soul Tithe which this early in the game effectively gets rid of it. Over to Harry, he plays a land into Thought Vessel. He asks how many cards we all have because he plays Megas of the Wheel. At the end of turn, I flash in Eureka, giving it essentially haste on my turn. On my turn, I play a land, throw the Black Blade into the bin, there's no way I'm paying for it. I go on to play Soul Ring, better late than never, and then I play Fire Shrieker and equip it to Eureka. So Eureka has double strike, and double strike means double the triggers. Luckily, one of my opponents doesn't have any creatures, so we crack in. So I get to flip two cards off the top. We hit Amanato's Augury, which means everyone takes eight, and then Mystic Tutor for one damage. And Belby Trigger comes in giving me mana, so I play Loxodon Warhammer from my hand and take one damage from Mana Burn. This turns kind of the moment where I became the villain of the table, and I think it's fair. Over to Mr. Badger's turn, he plays a Nightshade Harvester, which gets bigger and pings us when we play lands. An Immolation Shaman to ding us whenever we activate abilities. And then he attacks me for 6. He loses 2 life because Belby gives him mana and he has no cards in his hand. To Dabs, he plays a Forest and arrests Jericho. To Harry, he plays a land and then Feast of Sanity, which is 1 cent currently and puts in a lot of work in his deck. That's a great find. And to try and make some bodies, he plays Improbable Alliance. It comes back to me and Harry can spin that wheel whenever he has mana, so I know I have to start throwing down cards. I throw down Demir Signet, and I don't really have much else I can do because Eureka's arrested. And then, like a gift from above, Mr. Badger taps his Zerta Druid to hit everyone on my turn, so I go into my second main with 6 extra mana. He was trying to mana burn me, but this means that Aminatu's Augury is coming right down. And if I became the villain last turn, I became the arch enemy this turn. So exile 8 and we get to cast something of each type. I feel kinda guilty for the rest of the table, so I go for the more fun plays than necessarily the strictly best plays. They're still super powerful though. I grab a land, I blow up the board with Necromatic Selection and it brings Eureka back from the bin. I play Dust Mantle Seer rather than Spark Double. I play Soren because he's the only walker I hit, and we choose Sensei's Divining Top over Scroll Rack. We use Soren to knock Harry down to 10 life, and finally I pass my turn. 
Worried that everything is going to blow up again soon, Mr. Badger plays Leyline of Prowler and passes. Over to Mr. Dabs, he hits the natural Wooburk, which is a win in its own right. And then he plays Haunter of Night Vale, which is a slight problem for me because Eureka now has zero power. On Harry's turn, he casts Jace's Archivist to have another Wheeler on the board. At the end of his turn, I mess around with my top deck. Then it comes to my turn, and we have Dust Mantle Seer Trigger, so everyone bobs. I hit a land, Mr. Badger hits a removal spell, Harry hits a ramp spell, but Mr. Dabs hits Door to Nothingness, which is immediately kinda scary. I then throw the Loxodon Warhammer and Fire Shrieker onto Yuriko. I go to combat and go to swing at Mr. Badger, and he tells me he has a removal spell. I force him to use it, and Yuriko dies in combat. I pass the turn and keep some mana up to flash stuff in and threaten a counterspell. All Mr. Badger can really do is untap and wait, so he passes nearly immediately. Dr. Daz plays his door to nothingness on his turn. Harry wheels on his turn. I Mystic Tutor to pick one of the cards I'm drawing into. Mr. Badger casts Beast Within, so Soren doesn't knock someone else down to 10. I get a Beast Token. We all wheel, and since Harry discards 4 cards, he gets to shoot something for 4 with Feast of Sanity, so he shoots down the Dust Mantles here. I revealed that I grabbed Temporal Trespass off my tutor. Now that the wheel is resolved, Harry can cast Stormkiln Artist, a great card from Strixhaven. He then casts the Haldus Ploy to gain some life back. Before his turn is over, I flash an Arcane Adaptation to make all of my creatures ninjas. I take a second to make my Beast Token into a ninja. On my turn, I bring Yuriko back from the command zone. I throw my locks in on Warhammer and Fire Shrieker on my token, which is now a ninja. I attack Mr. Badger since he has the highest life total of my opponents. He lets it through, and the lifelink gives me some padding. I flip Portal Mage for 3 damage, and the second flip is Darkseal and get for another 3. And that was when I flew too close to the sun. Mr. Badger casts Dictate of Karametra to give everyone double mana at the end of his turn, meaning the door to nothingness was now online. On his own turn, Mr. Badger casts Horizon Stone, which is a great piece of late game ramp. And then he proceeds to throw down Omnath Locus of Rage, a big beater that can make other big beaters. And immediately on Dr. Dab's turn, he throws me into the Shadow Realm and knocks me out of the game. And he uses his remaining mana to put Gigantha in his hand. Over to Harry's turn, he casts a Riel, which is really nice in that deck. Then he activates Jace's Archivist yet again. It triggers his Feast of Sanity, so he pings Mr. Badger. Harry then casts Final Parting as a two-card tutor, with the card to go in the bin being Sazat's Will. He follows that up with Windrider Wizard, a nice looter that will trigger a lot. He passes it to Mr. Badger who plays Multani. And then he follows it up with an Evolving Wilds, which actually works really well with Multani. And then while he's at it, he costs Cultivate. Not only does this work with Multani, but Omnath is also going to make three 5-5s. Five Over to Dr. Dabs, he plays and cracks Terramorphic Expanse to grab a forest. And then he goes ahead and reanimates Gigantha. And he plays his commander and goes and grabs a basic. Before it gets to Harry's turn, he casts Mission Briefing and rummages and makes a treasure before he even gets to the spell's effect. He's got his system going. Discard Trigger means he pings Mr. Badger for one. He cracks into his treasure and casts multiple choice off of Mission Briefing. And his cycle starts again of treasure and rummaging and pinging Dr. Dabs. With multiple choice, he bounces a permanent of Mr. Badger's choice back to his hand, which he picks his mana dork and he floats the mana. He draws a card, making a fairy. He also makes a 4-4 elemental. And then it's his turn. That's right, this was all at the end of someone else's turn. In his first main, he casts Dark Ritual, which again repeats his whole cycle and pings Dr. Dabs. And then he goes on to cast Experimental Overload to make a big token and get to hell his plan back from the bin. And again, continue the cycle and ping Dr. Dabs. And then he casts the Hilt Display, so the cycle continues, and he pings Dr. Dabs. And he knows he has to be able to kill both of his opponents here, so he casts Ancient Excavation, which causes the cycle to continue again, and he pings Mr. Badger. And then we get a Collective Defiance, which is fully escalated. So again, Harry's accruing value and slowly pinging his opponents to death. He discards his hand to kill Dr. Dabs and then hit Mr. Badger for a bit. And it's just down to him and Mr. Badger, and he casts a Lumgard Command, bouncing Omnath and Deep Ball But more importantly, results in Mr. Badger losing a life. And because he's always a man of showmanship and winning the fun way, he kills Multani with Price of Fame to put the cycle in again and ping Mr. Badger for lethal. So Hexproof Harry wins. 
it was really fun to be on stream and play some magic. I'm definitely going to have some people over here on this channel eventually to stream sooner or later. If you guys want to follow any of the people I played against, take a look in the description for all their socials. If you like this video, leave it a like, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Commander content. This is my first gameplay video in years, but you can always expect tons of Commander deck decks. If you made it this far, thank you. Your viewership helps the channel like me grow. And to prove to others that you watch the whole thing, comment Harry is a cheater. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to bolt your birds.